Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Majo Pika, your streaming witch over on Twitch. And today we're gonna go over the patch notes of April 17th. If you'd like the video, please like and subscribe. And we're also live on Twitch currently playing BDO and going through the events all together. With that, let's go right into the announcements and the events. And let's go through the first event together, which will be the Horse Emblem Imperial Steed is here. With this event, we have an actual hot time event until April 30th with all of your Mount EXP. So you get 50% of Mount EXP on every mount that you're training and as well as deliver the horse emblems to Imperial delivery during the event period to obtain the Imperial training delivery notice. Plus we get two flowers of oblivion, which we will get for turning in the horses. So for tier eight, for example, we get 20 to 40 flowers of oblivion and we also get some training delivery invoice for trading the horses into your imperial trainer you will get some more emblems here which you can exchange for all of these items so for example you get the imperial steed emblem which will be for enhancing your um, steed as well as the tier horse emblem box and the horse gear crafting box or a horse gear gun bear, uh, gun bear horse gear i would recommend you to get the horse emblem right here or also get the Coral, Coral, Cordaldo horse gear crafting box if you do not need any more of those tier 8 horses but if you have enough of those emblems you can also afterwards exchange them into to get more delivery invoices the event seals so that you can exchange them out again to get more of those invoices um, you need to have the horse at level 15 and then you can get approximately 120 million silver just by training your horses maybe overnight and then you get the noble stature chest as well this will be rng based but you can get mythical feathers times 10 some flowers of oblivion royal fern root all of these things which will be very exciting is the mythical feathers because those you also need for enhancing your horses to get dream horses next up we have the double mini games and double modes with live exp 50% hot time. So for all of our live EXP guys out there, you will get a live EXP plus 50%, excluding the training because we already have that event going as well. But we will also have this event until April 30th. And this will be exciting because on April 24th, which is Wednesday next week, we will actually have all of these skills that we have on each character family bound. So each of your character, each of your classes will have the same live exp on all of them you can also get the ted manus tier gathering tools via the challenge tab y simply by logging in this one is probably gonna be time based so at the end of the event it will probably be gone but until that time you can have some ted manus gathering and ted manus gear just by simply logging in so you will get all of these things and they will expire, yeah, right, as we said, they will expire in 28 days. But they will give you some live EXP as well on each tool. So that is nice. During the event, we will also have the double mini games. Um, so you have a, a chance to trigger the, the mini game where you can get 10 times the loot. Uh, the mini game does consume 10 energy. So just be aware of that. And by completing this mini game and by maybe hitting the best time you can get some double the amount of the things that you've gathered you have to be at least artisan one in your life exp to trigger this mini game though so be sure to know that but with this life exp up and some silver embroidered um clothes you will get to artisan very very quickly and you will also need to complete the questline young in a new moodle village and obtain the green farm knowledge so we just sure to also have done that quest line so that you will actually be able to trigger the mini game as well as we have the double chance to spawn the mole so for everyone that is farming currently this will be our time as well the number of spawned moles multiplied by three and during the event also by two this does not affect the pita pad mole though Next up, let's go over all of the patch notes for April 17th. And we have some exciting things because we have the ancient anvil. So the ancient anvil is actually a kind of a pity system for enhancing because a lot of people have unfortunately quit the game after they have failed their enhancements multiple times and it 
could get very aggravating. So a lot of people have decided to stop playing the game. And this should be actually so that people do not stop playing the game because you actually see an end to your enhancement. Since January 1st of 2024, they have locked every attempt that you've done in your enhancing. And now when you fail the enhancement, Agri's Essence will stack for the gear as its enhancement level, at its enhancement level. So from the Pry, the Duo, the Tri, the Tet and Pen, each of them will have a known Ancient Anvil and they will keep their essences there. Once you've stacked enough essences, you'll be guaranteed an enhancement of that gear and its enhancement level. The Agri's Essence is basically saved per gear and enhancement level and individually for accessories while bound to set groups for weapons and defense gear. So for each accessory, for example, the rings are separate from the earrings and are separate from the belt, separate from the necklace. So be sure to know that when you are enhancing so that you don't think, oh yes, I've finally gotten uh, my attempts in for the ring and I can, I've got all of my attempts in. Let me do the necklace now because I have those attempts in and be disappointed when you see that there are no essences for the necklace if you've done the ring like we see here for example let's say you fail to enhance your tet the Rekka necklace and fill up the anvil with one agris essence for enough attempts and with enough agris essence you'll obtain a hundred percent enhancement success rate for the tet the reckless ne necklace again accessories such as the Debrecca store agris essence individually as in the Debrecca's necklace stores essence separately from the Debrecca ring this is this is very exciting. This is very exciting. This will this will leave our this will make our game life so much easier. As you can see here, upon the enhancement failure, Agris Essence starts to stack. So when you enhance it, you fail. You will see here this is the Agris um, Essence. It will fail and it goes up to forty. So for the next attempt, when you know you're in your fortieth attempt, it will go and be right done with the one hundred percent guaranteed. So it will always be successful. As you can see right up here, it will go up in the point and the fail stack will actually stay. And if the fail stack will actually continue to be there, it will not disappear when you have your guaranteed pen, the Wreckers necklace or pen Black Star necklace. So with the guaranteed attempt, the fail stack will actually not go away. And here we can see this is actually shared with the same item group. So for example, like here they swap, swap out the Black Star uh, items, but the essence will stay at the same. For the different kind of gears, like the Black Star, the Goddard Eye, the Black Star Defense Gear and the Slumbin, Slumbering Origin Defense Gear, we will have a different kind of anvil essence amount that we need. For example, to get the Ted, we need 40 for the Black Star, for the Goddard Eye Goddard god or eyed weapons we need 50 for a tet and for the slumbering origin defense gear we need 1000 for the wailing ones so a lot of them but but we will have we will see an end we will see an end and that is the nice thing like you can you can upgrade and you will see oh yeah i failed 39 attempts the 40th will go also for these ones the weapon defense gear by grade, life skill tools, all other weapons now and Tuvala defense gear will also have the PT system on them. But they will all have different kinds of anvil essences that you will need to fill up. For these, I would just really suggest to go through your um, patch notes that I will link down below as well, just to see what kind of gear needs how many fail stacks. How many, how many attempts, not fail stacks. Next up, they also have improved the composing us uh, usability and QLL for our musicians out there. They want to improve it so that it's easier composing the music album, as well as they want some uh, longer, they're going to work on making longer songs available for us. So they've also added some shortcuts like CTRL plus A to select all notes for a sheet. And you can also improve that you can click each bar, select all notes in one bar. They have also um, redone the perform. Well, they're gonna do the redo the performance rankings. So they added performance ranking to uh, reflect the upcoming removal of note restrictions based on performance grades. So if an adventurer is in a higher ranks, an icon will be displayed above the character's head. The performance grade and EXP are displayed up to a second dis decimal place, and they've improved the acquirement of performance EXP per bar during performances. 
now let's go over <laughs> something that is very interesting, which they have combined the traces of the traces, the fruits and the essences into one thing. So it is simpler for most of the people. This will affect though all of our nodes. So if you have a no node empire, I would really recommend to see what actually is worth now. And if something is not worth it to take out the node and invest in other stuff now as well. Let's see if they also do it with mushrooms and with flowers or if they were, are going to keep those as they were before. But this will also be easier obtainable now for a lot of people because some types of fruits were always out of stock. Some traces are more important than others. Uh, so they've simplified it now for our alchemy people as well. They've also obviously now changed the recipe due to the simplification of all traces and fruits and essences and the items into one type each. And according to the description of related items has also been changed. So we have all of the recipes that have been changed right here on our list and also for the processing. So which is going to be very interesting as well for our Manos clothes because we needed the essences to make our Manos um, accessories, not clothes. Um, so let's see how it will all affect the central market in a few days and how it will be afterwards in a few months. As well as the Khan's heart life, Khan's heart protection and Khan's heart destruction. They've also changed the amount or like the recipe for those items as well. So that will reflect the new items. They've also added the repeat se season special gift, which allows you to exchange the season special exchange coupons you own for gifts without any limit of the number of times. So as we see down here, Fuga will give out this new quest line, which you can do with the repeat season special exchange coupon. They've also added the Golden Seal Imperial Training and the Grand Prix Veras Scroll to the Managed Currency UI, which will also simplify our life. Also, if you already completed the Grand Prix Vera Scroll Quest, which is available once per family, it will be considered as done and you don't need to do it and redo it on every character, every class. And they've also changed that the quest grant piece Vera scroll so that it can no longer be accepted and the ongoing quests will be cancelled. So we look out as this for that one as well. And they changed the live EXP transfer coupons that they can be sold at the NPC shops because they are gonna put all of the live EXP with next week's update onto every class. So you can now honestly just sell those coupons at an NPC. They will also now be stored in your normal inventory, not in your pearl inventory. So have some space. <laughs> also, you cannot, this is an interesting thing. So the pearl of this doesn't want you to, <laughs> to bring your horse onto ships anymore. So they changed so that you cannot summon other mounts uh, while on large ships, uh, which is interesting. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know why, but apparently, apparently they did. They also revamped some uh, quests and knowledges down here. Some main quests, some general adventures, live quests, content quests, event quests, and recurring quests. They probably want to simplify our quest menu as well. So that is interesting. Yeah, they, they changed the quest types into these new ones. So the main combat life, fishing, exploration, trade, and others will be, will be simplified into these on our quest app. Also, now we've got the tulips in full bloom. And because summer is approaching, so from April 17th to May 14th, we will all have tulips um, over our world in Black Desert Online. They've also changed some of the UI. They improved the convenience of using Coralto Sanctuary function, even when the mount UI is placed at the bottom of the screen. And they fixed the issue with the mystical horse list window is displayed outside the screen when right-clicking the mount icon. While owning Coralto's Sanctuary, the UI will not be shown above the mount icon. They've also simplified the opening animation for NPC dialogue, quests and exchange windows. A big thing that is now also happening is our karma system is going to get an upgrade. <laughs> so for everybody that had bad karma, this is a, not a good thing for you. It will take you a much longer to get out of the karma, of the negative karma. But this is done so that people who will get griefed on spots during their playtime uh, will have a nicer life, let's say it like this. So the pen penalties for forced PvP, such as enhancement, level decrease and crystal deduction, were rather weak. Even then, some could uh, circumvent these by using different gear settings to continuously harass other adventurers. Therefore, we've decided to make the penalties a little stronger, which is honestly quite a nice implementation 
that they've done, in my opinion. I'm not a, I'm not a griever. I don't have negative karma. I don't even know how to get into negative karma. Let's be honest. The karma is currently, uh, is que currently quickly and easily recoverable. The characters are now have stronger gears, so are able to defeat more monsters in a short time. But karma recovery rate wasn't changed to match its increase in power. So we are going to decrease the rate of recovery to make karma recovery consume more time. On top of this, they are, were adventurers who continued to impose forced PvP and others when they were already at the lowest possible karma. To prevent repeated forced PvP, we are also going to expand the bottom limit of the karma. So we had a bottom limit of a karma of 1 million, which is now going to be modified to 10 million. The decreased amount of karma obtained from defeating monsters to 1 to 5, the previous rate. If you previously obtained less than 4 karma, you can obtain a minimum of 1 karma now. Ooh, that, that, is, that is a big, a big, big change for our uh, griefers, for our red players. And for our last thing, let's go over the Pearl Shop update. Just a quick little overview. We've got a new accessory. We've got some classic chic metal glasses for 500 pearls. Uh, we got the step up bundle. There are four total step up items that can be purchased. As the steps get higher, so do the benefits. So the more of those you purchase, the better the things get that are inside. You can get also the Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune now. This is one purchase per family. Then we've got the outfit of the day. It's the Dark Knight's cupcake outfit set, which will be on a discount. So pre-order that on your central market because hopefully there will be a lot of, of those outfits out there and we can get a lot of cronstones. Then we also got the horse, uh, dream horse prep. So if you are thinking of enhancing your dream horse, then you can also do this right now with getting this bundle with skill changes, cronstones, and a lot of other things as well. We've also received the inventory expansion coupon times five again and for 80 slots or for 40 slots and then the most exciting thing as well we've got a new outfit for all of our um, female classes which be the Rosalind outfit I mean look at it it's beautiful 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 and with that, we went over our patch notes, I think in kind of a quick way this time around. So hopefully it was a little bit informative. As you know, I'm still kind of new to the patch notes. So please have patience with me. Also, I know this is a little bit late again for the patch notes. So I hope you can forgive me for that. Everyone, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and a lovely weekend. Happy grinding time. Happy Mount EXP time and live EXP time. Bye bye.